Singapore's full-year non-oil domestic export growth rate is expected to hit its highest in more than a decade. Analysts say continued strong chip demand and the reopening of more regional countries could drive it to at least 9% on-year. And that would follow September's 12.3% on-year growth of key exports, which has been trending up for the past 10 months. Heidi Ng with more. The electronics and non-electronics sectors have helped maintain Singapore's Nodex growth. Non-electronics grew nearly 12% in September, rebounding from August's decline. Higher exports of computers and telecom equipment meant robust demand for chips, which extended August's electronics growth. Chip prices has gone up significantly because just demand has soared. There are just not enough chips uh, around. Remember, this is dollar value. So higher prices, I think, certainly has lifted somewhat the September Nordex as well. And certainly, I think, in subsequent months. Exports to key markets are also up. More specialised machinery and chips were shipped to South Korea and the US, while shipments of non-monetary gold and petrochemicals to China increased. As shipping bottlenecks threaten global supply chains, one analyst says Singapore's semiconductors exports can withstand such difficult conditions. Singapore's uh, exports have been resilient, particularly because uh, of the strong demand in semiconductors, uh, which are typically exported via air cargo rather than by shipping, so it was less affected by the uh, shipping bottlenecks. We think exports will likely stay uh, buoyant in the fourth quarter, supported by strong chip demand, and also the reopening of more countries in the uh, region, especially in ASEAN. And the analysts are optimistic going to next year, while acknowledging the export growth momentum may taper. For 2022, uh, we expect Nordex to continue rising, uh, but the momentum may uh, slow uh, from what we have seen this year, uh, where uh, when we are looking at the 9%, uh, because of the high base effects, especially for electronics, I think the momentum for that will slow, uh, because a lot of the chip producers are already operating at full capacity. If supply disruption remains in place and chip prices stays high, we could still see a fairly reasonable uh, outlook for Nordex uh, exports, not quite uh, 10%, but easily uh, mid to high single digit growth, still likely. He adds that the central bank's recent decision to allow the Sing dollar to strengthen slightly is not likely to impact exports. That's because items produced in Singapore are not easily substituted.